worst mayor probably in the country, but also kind of like an open bigot, and would just sort of say it. I mean, in 2014, he said, and I'm quoting, we got to do something about these Asians coming in, opening up businesses, those dirty shops, they ought to go. I wonder if you put up a Marion Barry statue, what Asian people driving by would think. Well, there's a couple of things. If you recall, though, that he was brought to task about that and he discussed it. And he talked about the issue there was in the black community that a lot of black people didn't own. Didn't, didn't own yeah, but he's still businesses. attacking a and racial he came back group. And he I mean, are we allowed to do that? Yeah. I mean, that's your. Come on, you can't, you can't do that. When he got reelected, I was living here when he did. And, in 1994, he said famously, white people get over it. Like, you can't. Come on now. He well, was a divisive you, figure I don't, on racial lines. And why would you ever want a statue of him? I don't think he was a divisive figure on racial lines. He was he was uh, in, uh, the mayor at a time when there were a lot of divisive issues going on. But let's not forget. Let's not just bottle this guy up based on a couple of statements that he made. Here was a guy who was the president of the Students' Nonviolent uh, Coordinating Committee, yeah. the first president of SNCC. He was a guy. And you know what he did when he became? the president of SNCC. You know what he did? He he had a master's degree he, in chemistry and he was working on his PhD in organic chem chemistry and he quit that in order to, to, to work for SNCC. He was, the, he was a smart guy. Right, he was so a brilliant you're guy. You're absolutely right. He but, he, but he wrecked the city. I mean, 100,000 people left Washington while he was mayor. While he was mayor, 41 percent of all African-American men were either in jail, out on bail, or wanted. It total in the city. That's not a good outcome. That's not impressive. He did not make the city better. You know that. You lived here. Why would you ever put a statue to that guy? Let's not forget that when he came in, the city was a mess. When he came in as mayor, the first three years that he came in, they, they had a $13 million surplus. When he came in, actually, if you look at the numbers, and you can look it up online, when he came in, he straightened the city out. Now, what happened in the 80s and the crack epidemic of the 80s was not the fault of Marion Bear. But he was Barry. a crackhead himself. I mean, well, he got busted smoking crack on camera. Then he got busted again, as you know. Yes. He did. Using drugs. Look, there are a lot of decent people who fall into drug addiction, but he was a crack smoker at the height of the crack epidemic. I mean, that's the definition of bad leadership. He was, he was a say? man who did get in trouble. and he. But all of the things that he did were things that damaged him. He did a number of good things for the city and the people in, this, in the city of he Washington. He went to jail and got busted for having city. sex with a woman in the visiting room. He couldn't even yeah. spend six months in jail without getting As in I trouble. said, the things that he did were things that hurt him. But additionally, he put together a program where all young children in Washington, all, or all school-age people in Washington, D.C., who wanted a summer job would have a summer job when he came in african americans were getting none of the uh none of the contracts from the city and he said they've got to get at least 30 so do you think it's meaningful that 41 percent of all black men in the entire district of columbia were in jail on parole or wanted by the police in the city run by Marion Barry. You can't say it was racial animus. He was running the city. Right, but I, we can't say it was his fault. I you mean, can't, but you, I, you can't look at nation. that and say, look, right. he advanced the cause of African Americans when 100,000 people left, a lot of them black. The black middle class left the city right. and went to Maryland. You know what's interesting you know. about that? So when he came in, said, he said he was going to build the, the, a black middle class, and in fact he did. But one of the consequences of him building a, a black <laughs> no, middle class. No, he didn't. One of the, the federal government built the middle class. One of the class. consequences of, of what he did was, there are a lot of black middle class people who lived in poor neighborhoods in the city. And when they started making more money, they moved out to the county and bought nice homes. So the fact that they, a lot of black people left the city wasn't because it was worse. Well, that's it was not, because that's they not started, true. The they schools started were walk. terrible and no normal person with an option would ever keep his kids here. I mean, look, by basic measures, the city got worse. It's just true. Look, I think Barry was a complicated guy, an interesting guy. But for Washington, he wasn't good. And nobody really thinks that. Let me ask you this, though, since we're now evaluating everybody by our current standards, Barry was the only member of the city council to come out against gay marriage. Right. You th you're okay with that? Well, let, let's not forget, back then, when we talk about long ago, look what happened. Barack Obama, a guy who started off. The Clintons way back signed the uh, No, no, but no, no, you don't. No, wait, no, but hold on. You're, you so know the rules. No, no, the my rules point, are my, that you evaluate historic right. figures on the basis no, of your my current point, moral values. My point is, at the time he did it, that wasn't all unusual. And actually, afterwards, oh, he, okay. said, I he, mean, he said that if a bill came down and he was mayor, that he would sign it. Okay, but by that standard, then none of the historical figures whose statues are being pulled down should be held to modern standards. Well, I mean, it depends I don't, on what it, 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 what oh, mean, it, it depends, depends on. Look, for. this isn't this is insane. No, I mean, it's not. Oh, so here's a guy who was with the student nonviolent coordinating committee, right? And, and it sounds like you're getting at you know, the, 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 the Robert E. Lee statues. Well, I don't think you can compare him with people who took up arms unless against the United I'm States, just, unless we're going to give Berg, Bo, Bo, Bo Bergdahl a statue. I'm just saying 
that the only, you and I both know the truth, which is the only reason you would put Marion Barry's statue up is to give the finger to certain people in the city who hated him because he hated them and said so out loud. This guy was an open race baiter. And I'm not sure why we're giving him a pass on that. Again, I liked him. He had dinner at my house. But I'm just being honest. Right. He divided this city by race. You know that he did. And that's his chief appeal. Why would we want to keep doing that? So I would argue that he didn't divide the city by race. I would argue that he came in at a time in America where the nation was decided by, was divided by race, and he did everything that he you, could to bring it together. Oh, really? Well, so when you so say, you ask, we've got to do something about these Asians coming in, their dirty shops, they ought to go? Is that, well, is that bringing mean, us together uh, based well, on race? My point is, you cannot evaluate the man based on, on a single statement. That he walked back later and apologized for. How about white for. people get over it? Well, there's How's nothing that? wrong with saying that. If he felt as though there's white people were freaked out because that? there was a black mayor, Gen there's nothing wrong Generalizing? With saying. Really? If, if, come on, that's insane. You can't generalize on the basis of race but, because uh, that's inherently divisive because not everyone who looks the same has the same opinion. But you can't, you can't divide a man. I mean, you can't take a man who lived 80 years old, who was a principal figure in the civil rights movement and say, well, he made two statements, so we got to drop all of the rest of the stuff that he did. <laughs> he made a Let's lot more than two. The bitch set me up, for example. Look, if they put the Barry statue up, do you mind if I cover it with a sheet just so my sensibilities aren't offended? I've got a problem with that. But, you know, if you can get away with it, good luck. <laughs>